Hi, I'm Marianne Weatherald. I'm on the Open Space and Recreation Committee. I'm here with Lisey Good of Wild Cohasset, and the committee has joined with Wild Cohasset to eradicate black swallow wart. Great, yeah, I, I can tell you a little bit more. Um, Wild Cohasset does a lot of work in, in Cohasset trying to help with preserving biodiversity. And the main way we do that is removing invasive plants that harm birds and pollinators and butterflies and putting in native plants. So black swallowwort is one that we're gonna look at today because it is really, a, a, it really threatens everything we love in Cohasset from wildlife to our open spaces, forests, you name it. And it's about to, the, the pods, which are the way that it spreads, they're about to pop open and spread airborne throughout the whole space. So that's why we want everyone to be on the lookout for it and know what to do. Open Space and Recreation Community is concerned about all smart spaces and recreation. And one reason we're concerned about this weed in particular is it can affect our fields, our yards, and our trails. And we want to keep them um, eradicated of this terrible uh, root system that can wipe out, yeah. wipe out um, our, our good greens. Exactly, and one of the things that people, if even if you didn't care about forests and birds and open space, if this plant makes its way into your yard, it will kill everything. It will kill your grass, your shrubs, your trees. So there are a lot of reasons to want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So black swallowwort is a vine. So you will often see it growing on fences, but it also hides inside shrubbery like this hydrangea bush. But I'll show you here here is, here it is. And you can see it's got a climbing vine that's tangled in here. Oops, and this is the pod, and that's what we're really worried about right now. I'm gonna snip this off so it can't do anything. These pods look like milkweed to monarch butterflies. So monarch butterflies mistakenly lay their eggs on this plant, and when the caterpillars are born, they die. So what we wanna do if you find this plant, right now, remove the pods and throw them away in a sealed trash bag. And then if you can, I'll show you how we dig up the entire plant because it's a perennial and it'll come back next year even if you get rid of those pods. If you're in Cohasset right now, this is probably what your black swallowwort vines are looking like. You can see all these pods and every single one of these pods will have hundreds of seeds that will go airborne and spread like dandelions. So if you're able to dig up the plant and throw the whole thing away, that's the best thing to do. But if you can't do that, because a lot of times it's tangled in the roots of other plants, the most important thing is just to snip off these pods. They come off really easily. And if you drop one, make sure you find it because it'll go to seed even if you snipped it off. So you get rid of them all. You can also use scissors or garden clippers to get the entire vine and plant like this. And then you're gonna throw it away in a trash bag. It cannot be composted. So if you're able to get to the root, that's the best way to get the entire plant out. And I'm gonna try and do this. It can be really tough when it's next to a foundation or a rock. Obviously we have a lot of those in Cohasset. We found that a pitchfork is the easiest way to do it. You kind of stick the tines of the pitchfork in all the way around, and just kind of wiggle. And what you're trying to do is loosen the roots from the soil so you'll be able to pull it all out. And hopefully it will come out neatly so I can show you. The, um, the root ball looks like a spider. It's like a big tangled web. But if you get it, you've gotten the whole plant. So I'm reaching in here. Normally I would have gloves on, but reaching in here and pulling. Nice job. So you see, just this little plant had all these roots. But sometimes when you have a plant that's years old, the root ball will be like this. So I'm going to throw this away. You cannot compost it. So what you want to do is get to the pod before the seed pods open. You can see this fluffy stuff. Each seed has some of that fluff like a dandelion and those go airborne and they can go for miles in all direction around the plant. I find that if I come across a plant like this that's already opened, I actually either use tape, like packing tape, 
to secure it so that when I'm moving the vine, it doesn't spread through the air everywhere. Or a handheld vac, cordless vac, like you might have in your car. It's amazing, it just sucks up the seeds. And then you have to be really careful to throw away all of those seeds. Yeah. Lisey, what's the long-term effect on this hillside now that we see some of the black swallow wart? Will it affect the waterway as well? No, but it probably will eventually kill every bit of vegetation along here. There are very few things that can grow in the soil once black swallowwort has taken root because by its roots it sends out a type of poison that helps it to compete against other plants. So it means that nothing else can grow here other than black swallowwort when it gets in here, other than poison ivy which can handle this kind of soil. So eventually we're looking to get some people that can come in here and safely remove the, the, um, the vine from this area. Mm -hmm. As you can see, it's a really, really tough area to get to. So we've had Very to concentrate, mm -hmm. the past couple of years, we've had to concentrate on this side of things. Right. So these, some of these lovely yeah, all, plants, all that you <laughs> weeds see here. here and trees. Yeah, may... it eventually will kill everything. It, it strangles um, trees. It covers over everything. When you see places where this has taken root mm -hmm. and been let go, it literally looks like a, a blanket over every bit of the landscape. Oh, it's so disappointing and sad. You see, where have you seen the Black Swallow Ward around town and what can people do? That's a really good question because it is definitely in Cohasset. It's mm -hmm. in lots of spots. We've seen it on Jerusalem Road near Black Rock Beach. is mm -hmm. a concentrated area where it's very bad and it will spread to all the areas around there. Mm -hmm. It's on Jerusalem to Atlantic, a, okay. a smaller amount. Mm -hmm. We've seen it on North Main Street near, um, near Wheelwright Park mm -hmm. um, in that area. We've worked a lot there. Mm -hmm. um, and Unfortunately, it's probably in lots of other spots that we don't know because it, it one, one little plant might find its way and then create a whole colony. Mm -hmm. And also at the Jerusalem Road close to Main Street too, there's a fair amount of it there. I know that the Open Space and Recreation Committee has worked with Wild Cohasset to send out letters to abutters that we have seen along the way that have black swallow wart, and we yes. have asked them to contact you. I yeah, believe. yeah, yeah. We we've did. had some great responses to those letters. Yeah, we did. We did send out letters with the help of the Open Space and Recreation Committee, which was amazing. We heard back from a, a, a number of people um, from those letters. Mm -hmm. One person who had it on their property, and and our volunteers went and cleared it out. So nice. Um, and then a bunch of people that live near the area contacted us to make sure that they didn't have it. Okay. The Open Space and Recreation Committee is interested in other activities in addition to Black Swallow Wart. We're interested in adding bike racks to the community, a ban against single-use plastic bottles, composting, doing Earth Day and its activities, um, trail mapping, and also adding more trees to the community. different recommendations to For remove Phragmites. Phragmites. Yeah. Some people burn it, other people, um, they take it right out as well. And pesticides are recommended, are not recommended at all because they, they affect other yeah. plants yeah. and animals. Yeah, it's funny because people often ask about black swallowwort, whether you can just use a pesticide to get rid of it. And truthfully, because it's so hardy and it's a perennial, it usually does not work. It might just kill the foliage, but the plant is still alive. But also, our whole reason for wanting to get rid of this plant is to help biodiversity, to help pollinators, wildlife, etc. And the herbicides that you would use to kill it would be just as harmful to those creatures as, as, as uh, the, the plant itself is. One thing we should bring up is that while Cohasset and the Open Space Committee this year worked to create a wonderful pollinator yes, garden, yes. and that was in Wheelwright Park, yeah. and that attracted a lot of beautiful monarch butterflies yeah. as well as yeah. other pollinators. It was, it was yeah. uh, each day, for all through the summer, one member of the Open Space and Recreation Community 
committee came over and watered those plants and now it's a beautiful garden and it has great um, bird um, bird houses as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 together with the Open Space and Recreation Committee, we applied for a grant, mm -hmm. um, which we received, and we really would encourage everybody to go visit it. It's at North mm -hmm. Main Street. It's a pollinator garden that's all native plants, which means it's plants that were here before European settlers arrived. And native plants are the best for wildlife, and they're low maintenance and easy to take care of. They don't need water, they don't need chemicals. It's really beautiful. We're hoping it'll even spread a little bit beyond its mm -hmm. its, um, the perimeter. its area. Mm -hmm. And um, we saw incredible life there this summer. We saw monarch butterflies, um, swallowtail blood butterflies, all kinds of different native bees, like these tiny little bees called sweat bees that are bright green. Um, we saw great stuff there. So we'd love to encourage people to visit and then maybe they can you know, duplicate it in their own yards. Right, I saw a few deer one day when I was oh. going over to water. <laughs> and it's a great area to also do the trails and walk with your dogs or with friends. Yeah, yeah. Visit it when you're uh, about to go for a walk. Mm -hmm.